Good morning. It is Thursday and I've had been up to all sorts of escapados this week, week already. Um, but right now we're just getting packed up because we are heading to a new beach that we've not known of. So Jonathan's been really busy this week. He's had a lot of meetings and not really had much time off. So kind of taking a little bit of today, although he's going to be studying probably as we drive then probably while we're there. But, but you know, that's, that's okay. So at least he's coming with us. So that's quite exciting. I think we're hoping to go and buy a barbecue. He's got friends coming over for a barbecue tomorrow night. So we've been trying to research them a bit. And um, yeah, found a beach, seen a beach that we've not been to before. So I'm gonna go and give that a go. Um, it's not roasting here, but it's not freezing. If you looked at Eden, you would think it was roasting because you know, sandals and all. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So let's go, off to Oban. So we made it to Oban and we've come into Tesco, haven't we? And we've got a pick and mix kids meal, which was three pounds and it's awesome. It's a really good spot, isn't it? Do you like it here? Yeah, so now we're going to see the barbecues. Aidan got a new puppy yeah. yesterday and the puppy has worked out where he's come from, hasn't it, Aidan? <laughs> toilet! <laughs> Not from the toilet, no. Look, look, he's found his family! <laughs> so we've just been in Argos and we bought a barbecue. We just went for the cheapest one, really. It's a gas one and we have a little gas canister cylinder um, which like a tiny one these days costs like £100 so we got a small one and we're just going to try it out so we've got a barbecue tomorrow night hopefully we'll get it set up and um, just think like if we can possibly be out as much as possible this year I am looking forward to it because we're not really going anywhere particularly for our summer holidays much so just be around home so I thought if I could cook outside even better can you see over there is McKeag's Folly? Um, I think it's also known as McKeag's Castle, I'm not sure. But it was built um, in the late 1890s by a man called Mr. Key. And he was a man who wanted to remember his family and for his family to be remembered. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're looking at the McKeag's Folly. Ah. And he also wanted to make um, work for the stonemasons over winter. So I think that's lovely. That's such a nice thing to have done. It took a long time. Oh well. Um, so yeah, it took a really long time for him to build. But um, and actually, he ended up dying during it. But um, it's such a nice idea. So there you go. So we've been to Aldi now and got our foodstuffs for our barbecue. And now we're heading to try and find a place where you can do um, research things about the ocean. So, you know, some school for today. So we have ended up coming back to a beach that we already knew. So in Oban, Ganavan, I think it's called. Ganavan. Sands. So, anyway, um, we're actually looking for somewhere else. Couldn't find it. So here we are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've been here 20 minutes, if not half an hour. And I can't tell you the amount of destruction that we've made to the clothing that we brought with us. Uh, we've had a small child in the water with full outfit, wellies, everything soaked. And another child who should know better, who shall remain nameless, and she um, was swimming in her clothes. Even though I brought a swimsuit and wetsuit, she's swimming in her clothes. So good job that I had a bag of clothes, isn't it, Nathaniel? And Jonathan, well, let's just see. He was digging his way to Australia again. There he is, look. Hmm. Anyway, we're off to the next place. Let's try and find the place we're looking for first. Let's do that, will we? But it is, it's a beautiful day and it's just been 20 minutes of destruction, but goodness as well, and fresh air and he's going to find a new rock. So Nat and I are off to Wimbledon. So last week was the golf. This week is the tennis. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. And Jonathan's over in the park, so maybe I'll go and rescue him and let him come here. I've just finished playing Wimbledon and now we've come out and we're having pasta 
Well, I made a bit of a mess on my uh, tarmac. I'll have to move that. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got our little things of bolognese and pasta and it's kind of gone okay, gone down quite well. Some cheese on top, yum yum. So this is where we're going, Ocean Explorer. But I'm not sure if we're going to get in due to the fact that we're a bit late maybe. So they have um, cameras under the sea. The sea is not silent. It's all pretty nice. Look, you can see above the water and below the water. So, so good. Scan me to find out. <laughs> World. And there's a cinema equipped with five senses. Man explores universal intimate and calls adventure science. Sort of DNA things happening here. Here's the stuff that they wear when they're out and about. Polar rest research and I think they have to wear things like these. Nathaniel, the marine biologist. <laughs> That. He's looking through a telescope and seeing what are you seeing? What is that, Nathaniel? That's swimming green algae. Swimming green algae. Wow. Didn't think you woke up this morning. Didn't think you'd be seeing that today, did you? Nope. Maybe nope. I thought I'd be seeing my house. Look at all those. This molecule is called Sweet Kate. <laughs> All the puns that I can make with all these things. 